In this application, we're gonna show installing the hangers on the Trex Elevations steel framing. In this application here, we've got a joist we're gonna install. I'm gonna get my safety glasses on. We're using a seven inch galvanized L bracket. We're going to be using it with the longer side flat down against the joist. This gives you more area to clamp. Go ahead and get that in place. We're going to use a C vice clamp so that we can hold this in place the whole time we're drilling. At this point, we'll go ahead and we're going to use an impact driver. The impact driver gives a little bit of a um, taps going in as the screw is turning. It's makes it easier and quicker for the screws to go through the material. We'll be using a 5 16 inch head self-tapping sheet metal screw to go through the steel framing. We're using a 5 16 inch nut driver on the end with a magnetic tip. That way it'll hold your screws the whole time, it makes it easier for application. At this point, go ahead and use the pre-drilled holes that are in your hanger and just follow those. That's your hanger application. On another application, what we are looking for at this point is go ahead and have your layout, which will be a 16 or a 12 inch on center, depending on your decking applications. The Trex elevations will not change what is required by the manufacturer for the decking. Once you have your layout, then you're able to go ahead and install your joist into that layout. You'll take the joist over. We want to slide the joist into the track, going in between the top and bottom flange. Once you've done that, go ahead and screw your top flange to the joist. Again, repeat this process going through the bottom, to the bottom flange of the track, going into the joist. At this point, we can then fill all the holes going through the L bracket into the track. We can go ahead and set our joist into the flush beam application, following the same thing we did against the track. You want to take your joist and make sure that you are aiming them. You want the C part of the joist to be facing each other. This will give you a flat application on every other bay. The system is set up so that when you're blocking over a drop beam, the actual blocking is only required in every other bay, not in every bay. So if you alternate and put your C's together, you'll have a flat section. Makes the blocking very easy in those flat sections. You won't have to notch the blocking as much.